That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. So happy that you're able to join me today. Um, today's gonna be a little crazy. I know I say that maybe a lot, but this time I really mean it. Um, some may hide it, some may like it. I'm not sure which camp I'm in, but what we've got here is a five and a half inch roughly round piece of poplar. It's about three inches thick. Let me tell you what's in my mind and let me see if I can um, make it um, makes sense. Um, I've seen on the uh, web um, ant hills and tunnels and if you remember back to you know maybe when you were a kid maybe you had one of the ant farms I'm probably dating myself I don't think they have those anymore um, but you see the tunnels and the intricacy of, uh, of an ant hill. I want to try to capture that. So what I'm going to do is have a wide rim maybe about a half inch so the bowl is going to be a little bit thick and I'm going to have those ant um, tubes, you know, entry holes, and then maybe be able to see down in there. And then on the side, maybe just a small section like this coming to a point, have the, it on the outside. I'm not sure it's going to be uh, evolving. If you hear this, you say, I don't care about this. This is nothing I want to see. I'll see you next week and maybe we'll do something not so crazy. But that's what I want to do today. But if you do stick around, uh, you know, make sure you stick around to the end where I will announce the winner of the resin pucks that I had in last week's video.
I think I forgot to hit record there, so it might not have got me hollowing out this, but I just used the bowl gouge just like I was doing before. I'm gonna switch tools up now because it's getting a little harder, at least for my skill level, to be able to get down deep into there um, with it being so closed in. Again, it's something I keep practicing, but still not there, so I'm just gonna switch tools. Okay, so I got the bowl done. So now I just wanna take you kind of through really quickly um, the tools that I'm gonna to be using. So I've got a, uh, a Dremel 8220. It's a cordless version. I do have two batteries and I've just got it hooked uh, off camera over here um, just so it goes up a little bit. And then I've got this gooseneck attachment to it. Um, and then I've got a set of burrs. Um, so these are larger ones, um, and I've also got a drill bit. I found when I was doing my playing around that a drill bit goes down into the wood a little bit easier. And then these are smaller ones, but I believe they are all eighth inch shanks. But again, I'll put a link down in the description. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so there you saw me at the end there, just hit it with uh, 150 uh, just to knock some of the things off. I still might have to come in here, but it's kind of the idea. Hopefully you saw, you know, I, I went through, uh, you know, mainly these um, four pieces here. Um, you know, the, uh, I started with the, this dome burr just to kind of make an indent. Uh, and then I came in with the other one and, you know, kind of did some undercutting um, and then drilled the holes out. And then just at the entrance of the hole just came in um, with this burr um, to just uh, widen the entrance. So it's a little bit more visible. Um, so, you know, I'm going to carry on about that and, uh, you know, around the edge. And um, I'll just fast forward through some of this and let you see it as I go, um, how it progresses. <laughs>
Right, so it, it's been uh, a, a few days since I, I turned this um, uh, because I wanted to wait until Thursday to do the ending so that I can do the giveaway for the pucks. So that's gonna be coming up in a minute. But anyway, thank you for sticking around. Um, you know, some people may hate this, some people may dislike it. I think I said the same thing. Some people may like it, some people may dislike it, some people may give me a thumbs up, some people may give me a thumbs down. That's okay. It was an experiment, it was a playing around with an idea I had. Uh, you know, a lot of us when we were growing up had those ant farms and I wanted to create something that looked like that. And I, I think I did, I think I executed on the idea, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, I wouldn't say it's the, you know, a, a work of art that needs to be in some museum, but you know, it was fun to make. I got to learn some new tools and I hope you see it as that way too. So um, I thank you for sticking around, you know, all of those normal things like comment, share. And uh, so now let's go and uh, I'll get my laptop and we'll get this set up and we'll do the drawing. So I've got them loaded up. I'm going to hit start, okay. Now, okay, there, oh, didn't know what was going on there. And it's going through, and the winner is Mike, I'm, I'm probably going to mispronounce your name and I apologize, Mike Gollitz. Gollitz, I think is that's how you say it, Mike Gollitz. So Mike, uh, you're the winner of these pucks, and I'll put that down in the description. Um, I'll try to maybe put a comment, I don't know. But you know, Mike, watch the video, and if it was you, send me an email, give me your address, and I'll get these uh, sent into you um, hopefully this weekend. And uh, I really appreciate all of the comments and all of the views that the video got. I really appreciate it. So. That is going to wrap up this week's project. Really appreciate it. Again, it was a little different and I know that, um, but I had a lot of fun, hope you did too. If this is your first time and you wanna see other videos like this, click over here. If you wanna become a subscriber, click up here. Click the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.